what was it like today in the in the Q and A? You know, the, uh, meeting meeting students is just always inspiring to me. Uh, gosh, to see to see how how bright they are and uh, interested, engaged. I mean, it's you know, it's a great great feeling. See, makes you feel like you know the world is a good place. You know, it, it, it's it's great fun to 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 meet students and uh, who are you know who love what they what they do. I am here at University of North Texas because of my uh, friendship with one of the professors, Professor Brad Lely, who I met, uh, gosh, uh, over ten years ago now, uh, who's played uh, with me in in my large band uh, for these for these last uh, ten eleven years, and uh, he he's uh, been a professor here the whole that whole time, and uh, I, you know he invited me to come up, so I was just you know thrilled to be able to come up here and get to spend some time with him as well. You know, when you were in there, you just said you hit on, you know, love for doing music. You hit on friendship in there, talking about the people you meet along the way. What, how is it that, you know, a friend that you met for many years, maybe played a couple songs with, how do those relationships last in the industry? Oh, gosh, you know, it, uh, uh, well, it, and, you know, every relationship is different. Uh, but it, it's, I, I think it's important, no matter what industry you're in, to, to, you know, to be involved with people that you, whose company you enjoy, be be involved with people who inspire you. Uh, you know, you 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 include those relationships in whatever you're doing. You know, and and you you know you you know you realize that it is your choice. You know, you don't just because you're in a certain industry, you don't have to have to let the convention of that industry dictate how how necessarily how you do things. Uh, you know, you do do what you want to, and and spend time with the people that 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 you like and that inspire you, and and uh, you know, uh, you know may, let it be your life, not uh, somebody else's. Well, gosh, you know, uh, pursuing a career in, in the music business itself changes all the time, and and uh, I, I think it's important to learn the current state of the business. Learn as much as you can. Meet as many people in the business uh, as you can meet uh, to be able to give you uh, as many choices as you might have. You know, le learn how the business works. Learn how what you want to do might fit into that. You know, don't, don't change what you want to do to fit into it, but, but learn, learn uh, to, to find the right spot for what you do. And, and uh, th that, you know, that can give you a chance to actually do what you do on a bigger scale. You talked about your college career and, and, and how it influenced you. What advice do you have for kids here? What should they be soaking up? Oh, gosh. You know, soak, soak up each other. Soak up, what you, soak up what you love to do. Soak up every opportunity you have to sit in or to just go to somebody's house and play a song with them uh, or to practice with them. Soak up, soak up the people. Uh, you're you're around because uh, it's it's those those are the types of relationships uh, that do uh, end up lasting for the rest of your career the rest of your life and you know that become important to your life. You talk a little bit about your relationship friendship with with professor. Oh, you know I I I met I met the professor because I I I called the University of North Texas. Uh, looking for you know look, looking for uh, someone to, to play alto and and uh, we had a lovely conversation and and uh, he reminded me that we had met uh, years before when he played with Harry Connick and uh, gosh I you know I remembered his playing from from then and and so to but to, to, to stand on stage with the professor and to listen to him play in the section and to play the solos that he Invents on the spot uh, is such an inspiration to to watch him listen to everyone else on stage and to respond in in a musical conversation with the other great musicians that we have on stage is just you know, a masterclass every every show I I get to stand stand there and watch him and listen to him and it's like having the best seat in the audience. What do you enjoy about being here, speaking to the students? No, oh, you know, it's just it's just fun. You know, anytime you get to be around people who are interested and engaged and tr trying, 
their best. You know, uh, that's that, that's that's all you can ask for in life. You know, in any situation. You know, uh, gosh, it, and it, it, just to be around that sort of energy and and interest. Uh, it, you know, it, it lifts your spirits. Oh, you know, gosh, I, 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 I really, I'm not one to give advice, but I, I think it's just important that, you know, people do what they want to do. You know, be, be who they are and, 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 uh, and do what you want to do. And, and uh, if you're, you know, you're good at that and then you're true to that, you know, good things will happen. Just looking ahead to some uh, forthcoming projects that I see you're hitting the road again this summer. Yeah, you know, I, well, I've you know, I've uh, always made a living playing playing live. Really, uh, I've never stopped playing live since uh, I first started playing out in 1976. And and uh, I'm fortunate that I get to work with so many talented people, and we get to play some of the nicest venues in the country. And and uh, we'll be yeah, we'll be on the road for uh, six weeks or so this this summer, and and then again in the fall. Uh, it's it's a privilege to play great halls with great musicians to to wonderful audiences. It never gets old. <laughs>